Hi, I'm Bowen from Nutrient Wonder Hub. Today, for story and a craft, we're going to talk about the book I Am Canada. You guys, do you guys know this is a collaboration book? That means there's more than one author. That's pretty cool, hey? This is a story, uh, a collaboration story, written by many different people that they all live in Canada now, but they were all from different places around the world. That just shows how diverse our country is. That's why I really like this book. And for the craft, we're going to make a flag uh, that represents your culture and your background. Whether you were born in Canada, whether you are an immigrant new to Canada, we're gonna make a flag that just represents your own identity. So yeah, I hope you guys are gonna like the story and I hope you guys are gonna like the craft. Okay, now we have talked about the book, I Am Canada. We're gonna do our craft, which is design your own flag. So you really don't need much and uh, you can have more, you can have less, doesn't matter. Uh, today I got some pipe cleaners. I got a piece of red paper and I got some of those eye stickers and I got two pieces of feather. I got a glue stick, a couple of different color of markers, scissor and some uh, glitters. Okay. So I think uh, for my flag, the reason I choose uh, a piece of red, red paper is because I was originally born in China and our national flag is red. So I'm gonna use red as my base color for my flag. So I'm gonna use a pipe cleaner as like the holder of the flag and then I'm gonna cut it into like a triangle shape. Okay. But of course, you don't have to do triangle, you can do a square, you can do even a circle, anything you like. All right. So I got my piece over here, ready to go, perfect. Then, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use a marker. I'm gonna mark some lines along this flag. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should be good. Then I'm gonna cut with the line. Be very careful when you're using a scissor. And uh, you can also ask a dot in your a house to help you with this step. Okay, I got a one. I'm gonna do the other one. All right. Do one more over here. One more here. One more here. And one more here, okay. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my pipe cleaner through those holes that I just cut. Okay. One more. Okay. Perfect. Then for the top part, I'm gonna just gonna twist it and push this down here. So I stay in the place. Great. Now I can hold my flag while I'm finished, right? I'm gonna give it a little bit more trim because I think this side is a little bit too big. Perfect. And if you don't want to use this way, you can just simply use a glue stick and glue the pipe cleaner on here. Neither way would work. Okay, then for the 
uh, Chinese national flag. We got five little stars on the left corner. So I'm gonna just place some stars on the left corner. We got five stars around the corner. So I'm gonna do five. I got those little um, pre-made star stickers already, but if you don't have them, that's totally okay. I will show you how to color start after I place mine on top of here. Okay, I just need one more. Perfect. All right. Okay. And if you don't have those star stickers at home, that's totally fine. I'm gonna just show you how you can cut a star on a piece of paper, okay? So you're gonna start with drawing one line, then bring it down. So it's kind of like a triangle without the last line over here, right? Mm -hmm. You're gonna do another line. You're gonna do the same thing. So from this way, it's like another triangle without the last line, right? Then you simply just close it. Here you go. Now you have a star. Then all you need to do is cut it off. All right. Perfect. Here you go. Now you have a good, oh, there's a little bit more here. I'm gonna cut that. Here we go. Now you have a good looking star, right? I'm actually gonna stick this on my flag too because I really like it. All right. So now I got one, two, two things that represent my culture. I'm gonna stick those two feathers on here too. And the reason is because when I was little, my grandpa used to have a beautiful bird and uh, I grew up with the bird, but unfortunately the bird passed away when I was 11 or 12, I think. But I really, really liked it. So I'm gonna put two feathers on my flag to represent the pet bird I had when I was little. All right. Perfect. Then I think I'm gonna add two of those eye stickers. And if you don't have them at home, you can also just simply draw one. Then I'm gonna do a little bit drawing. You guys can take a guess what it is. Can you guess what it is? It's a cat. So I also have a pet cat right now at home and uh, that's why I'm gonna put a cat on my flag. So I got one, two, three, four, four things that represent me. I'm putting them on the flag. And then in the end, I'm just gonna do a little bit decoration because I feel like there's some empty spot over here. I'm just gonna put some glue. Then I'm gonna put some, ah, blue 
splitters. Okay, I'm gonna spread it around. Make sure it all stick on there. Great. I'm gonna add a little bit more glue. I'm gonna add one more color. I'm gonna add a little bit of green. What do you guys think that look like? A mountain, right? I'm gonna add some outline for this mountain. Here we go. And the reason I draw the mountain is because during my free time, I really enjoy hiking. So I got one, two, three, four, five. Five things that represent myself on this flag. And you guys can do whatever you like on the flag that represents yourself. Uh, whether you have a pad you can put on there, or you're, you're originally born in a different country, there's a different flag for your country, you can do that. And there's something else you like to do. Uh, I like hiking, but you can do anything else, or even like something you really like to eat, you can also put that on there. But yeah, that's our craft for today. Design a flag that represents yourself and your culture. I hope you liked it, and if you did have a chance to make a flag, make sure you take some picture and send it to us. Thanks for joining for Storytime at a Craft at Wonder Hub. I hope you guys really enjoyed this uh, story. I am Canada, and I hope you guys enjoyed designing your flag. And if you did design a flag, make sure you take some pictures and send it to us. We'd love to see your flag and the story behind it. For more programs like this, please follow us here at wonderhub.ca. See you next time.